Right, eight minutes to six. Well, Strictly and X Factor may be over for another year, but fear not, there is a new talent show coming this weekend. The Masked Singer on ITV. It involves famous people from the TV singing in front of a panel of celebrity judges. Only their identity is hidden by a mask, just in case you didn't gather that from the title. And it's up to the judges to try and guess who's behind the mask. Mm. But what is it that the greatest and best formula for a quiz show? Let's talk quiz shows now with uh, TV presenter Greg Scott. Greg was quizmaster on ITV's interactive quiz show, Quizmania. Greg, hello there. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon, Andy. Uh, the Mask Singer. What do, you, what do you make of it? What do you reckon it'll be like? Oh, well, I've, I've only seen, like most people, I've only seen the trailer and uh, I've read the press release from ITV. I, I don't know if there's a general fatigue about singing shows. I, it's certainly set in for me a, a few years ago, and looking at the X Factor ratings, it's setting in for a lot of people. I don't know if this just oversaturation of it, you know? Um, and and mm-hmm. to think that there's three hours of The Masked Singer this week, because it's on Saturday and Sunday night. On Saturday night, it's followed by The Voice, I mean, come on! Very come similar, on. aren't they? Something better than singing shows. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm glad you mentioned the voice because to me, it sounds like a a kind of adaptation of the voice. Yeah, except with celebrities. The thing I don't get about the voice, you know, is that it, I don't know how many series. I mean, it started on the BBC, then it went to ITV. There's been about seven series now. Can you name one winner, Andy? No. No. (laughs) They all cheer and scream and throw the knickers in the air when they win. And then you think, why? What are you doing? You know, you're going to fade in. Probably get 50 quid a a week more at the pub that you sing at, but that's it. (laughs) I mean, you talked about uh, fatigue with it. Um, Are are they just running out of ideas, do you think, for good new talent shows and quiz shows? Again, this is this is a, a major point because this is a show that's come in. I believe it's uh, it's big in Japan, it's big in America. Uh, so it's not even like British TV execs have come up with an idea; they've bought it in. It's not exactly the most radical idea. It's not the most. It doesn't blow you away, does it? And and to think that. They've, they've had meetings. They've had countless meetings saying, OK, we've got the big winter schedule coming up. It's when our viewers, uh, our viewership is at its peak. What shall we give them? What shall we get? Another singing show. It's, oh, please. And it's going to be the same old celebs, isn't it? It's going to be the same old celebs. Tomorrow, right? Sorry, am, am I going on a bit? No, no, not at all, though. No, no carry on. on. I, I agree with box. you. Tomorrow, you've got the celebrity chase. You've got celebrity catchphrase, you've got celebrity who wants to be a millionaire, and you've got this new celebrity singing show, all within five hours. It's, it's, it's just saturation and unimaginative and, and, and dare I say, it, rather boring. Mm. What makes a good quiz show, then? What's the secret formula? Oh, being able to play along at home. That, that, that for me, is the, is the key to it. Um, if you can't play along... <laughs> Now, talking of playing along, here's a little... I, I like Pointless. Don't get me wrong. I like Pointless. Yeah. Great show. However, can you, when it's on peak time on a Saturday night, is it something that you can sit and watch and join in with, with young children? Because I don't think young kids can play along with it. Um, and for me, Saturday night TV should be programmes that all the family can enjoy. Um, very little effort to watch, but at least entertaining. And I think that's where we're going wrong. I mm. think there's been a big problem with finding brand new formats since, I mean, the heady days of Noel's house party and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, proper, proper entertainment shows. Um, there doesn't seem to, to have been anything to replace it in 20 years. I do agree with you, Greg. Good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Greg Scott there, he was Quizmaster on uh, ITV's Quizmania, TV presenter. Um, and it just it reminds me of some Alan Partridge ideas, um, because it does sound like that, doesn't it? The, the, the mass singer. Monkey Tennis, uh, of course. Uh, youth Hostling with Chris Eubank. I mean, why not? <laughs> if, you could, if you can do the mass singer, why can't we have some Alan Partridge uh, TV programmes on?